Hey, it's Dan. I'm in Oak Brook, Illinois on the southern tip. Uh, it's hot out. And uh, we're gonna do a little video tour. Uh, Oak Brook, Illinois has really large, beautiful homes. It's in a great location right off of 294 and 88. A lot of scenic uh, nature on the south end of town, which, uh, which is where we're at right now. We're right off of York Road, right near Ogden, uh, literally two minutes from 294. So stay tuned, uh, I think you'll be surprised what you see. We're starting off here at the Grau Mill. The Grau Mill's been here since the middle of the 1800s. It's a um, historical site now. And uh, there's activities here year round when COVID's not in full effect. Uh, a lot of family activities, little festivals. Uh, again, we're right next to Salt Creek here, which runs into Fullersburg, which we'll go check out on our way up uh, north. All right, we just pulled off of York Road and we're on the other side of the Grau Mill. Salt Creek is here, a lot of people go in and fish and kayak. Uh, so we're heading up here on Spring Road, which uh, runs straight from York to 31st. And within this area, there are houses tucked away, there's a few gated subdivisions. And as you can tell, it's uh, very wooded, hence the name Oak Brook. I'll shoot off on some of these side streets here. A lot of hidden driveways. A lot of these homes are on at least an acre. Here's a good example. We'll take a Salt Creek Circle here. It's a private road. Oops. We'll be quick. type of home you'll see back in this area. There are some older homes, some ranches that need to be probably torn down. And there's uh, several vacant lots available as well. Turn off here is uh, Fullersburg Woods. This is popular for people all over. People all over the uh, Northern Illinois come by here. I think this is one of the cool perks of living in Oak Brook is that no matter where you live, you can get here within less than 10 minutes. Hiking trails, uh, I don't really see bikers here much. People do walk their dogs. The trails are crushed limestone. Uh, there's a visitor center. They have a lot of um, field trips for kids here. I think Fullersburg could probably get its own little video blog tour. So maybe I'll do that next. Uh, let's continue on. We'll head back out in the spring and I'm gonna take you by some uh, gated communities and some other older established neighborhoods with still very nice large homes. There's some older but large homes tucked away here on our right off the of spring. That one's new. Uh, we have empty lots here for sale. Then 
you'll see a lot of people biking and hiking back uh, from Spring Road here. They've got the bike trails. And we're going to go left. Visit this last subdivision on the right here, which is considered uh, old. We got part of Fullersburg on the left, but um, I don't believe anybody actually goes in there. Nice. So again, another really wooded private street, homes tucked away, private drives. I'll pull up a map and show where we're at. I'll also, let's get down up 35th here. I'll also show um, some homes that are for sale back here, some examples of what you're looking at. Looks like there's quite a few. There's another one here. It's an older ranch. Looks like a possible teardown. So if you're looking to build back here, it's an opportunity. At the end of 35th here, there's a, a gated subdivision that's still being developed. It's been uh, fairly vacant for quite a while. It's called Templeton Reserve. And it's gated. I don't really know how many homes are back here, but you know what? I got a drone, so let's take a closer look. Up, but who knows? I don't know if they're occupied or if one's a model home. But uh, you can see a very scenic landscape. There is some road noise from Route 83. That's what we saw running uh, back north to south. Not too bad, but if you bought uh, one of the lots closer to 83, you might hear some road noise even in the house. So let's continue on. There's two more gated subdivisions. I won't be able to get into them. Um, I have been back there several times. Uh, Breckenridge Farms which has very large homes. There's a few homes back there, over 20,000 square feet. And uh, again, very private, very spaced out, very wooded. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look. Maybe I can get the drone up in the air. We can take a look at some of those homes. 
We're off Adams Street, and um, it might be hard for me to get good footage of these two subdivisions, Deer Path and Breckenridge. Uh, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna launch up and see what we got. Uh, you'll see definitely large spaced out homes, um, but you'll be able to tell from the drone footage what kind of uh, what kind of homes and what kind of lots these, uh, these state style homes all have. So let's uh, get up in the air and see what we can find. south to where we started. We've got some homes here on the left and vacant lots that have been for sale for a while. Uh, in the drone footage you probably saw we've got the large custom homes uh, to our left. There's another old property for sale that will be torn down and we have a new construction house here on the left. It's probably already been purchased. So one of our last stops here is going to be Canterbury Lane. Again, nice custom homes, many are gated. And uh, at the end, there's a little park. A lot of people ride bikes down here. It's the Dean Forest Reserve. You can see another private street. Large custom homes. here. Beautiful property. Private. There's a lake back there.
not a lot of homes on this uh, little stretch here, but uh, some do pop up for sale. We have another one down at the end there. Maybe I'll pull that up and uh, you can take a look at it. So here's the Dean Forest Preserve. Trail. Maybe we'll do a little drone footage back here. part of our little uh, video blog tour heading into Old Oak Brook. It's really not that old. These homes are nice. And it does not feel like we're just south of 31st. And again, I know I've already said this, but we are right by 294 fairly close to 88 and minutes to Oak Brook Mall. Nice established neighborhood with church trees. That concludes our video blog tour of the south section of Oak Brook, Illinois. As you can see from the videos, very large, beautiful homes, uh, scenic landscaping, mature trees. Uh, I've got some outdoor stuff to do down there with the uh, forest preserve and hiking trails. Um, what makes Oak Brook a good place to live? First off, obviously the homes. You're not going to find too many homes like this around in this section of the western suburbs with the, um, the sprawling landscape, uh, the size. Uh, another great thing is the property taxes are low so you can afford uh, more home here compared to up north in Elmhurst or south in Hinsdale. Those are both great communities as well and um, I would have no problems finding somebody a home there and uh, feeling great about it compared to Oak Brook. They all offer their own little thing. Uh, if you travel a lot, Oak Brook is very convenient. It's right between Midway and O'Hare. It's about 30 minutes to each airport. You're also really close to downtown. Um, well, you're not really close, but you're, you got you have easy access to the highway. Again, I-88, 294 surround the community. 83 runs north and south on the west end. Um, if you're looking to relocate to this area or buy a house uh, in Oak Brook or Elmhurst or Hinsdale area, any of these surrounding communities, I do know this area extremely well. I have worked in Oak Brook for 15 years. I know every subdivision. I know the commercial district inside now. Uh, I can really help guide you finding a, a perfect home for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. There will be more Oak Brook videos. I enjoy doing this in this area since I know it so well. And uh, hopefully I can provide some value. Click below if you want to get a hold of me. 
Uh, all my contact information is there. You can visit my website and uh, click around a bit to learn a little bit more. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you'd like and like the video too. I would appreciate it. Thanks.